America has always been Porsche's number one global sports car market, and California is the epicenter of that. For me, my story is pretty familiar. I fell in love with Porsche as a 10-year-old over 40 years ago, and uh, I have a collection of early air-cooled 911s, but my, my true goal is to own one of everything that Porsche has ever made in a sports car. So that is front-engined, mid-engined, rear-engined, air and water-cooled. So I started with the 924. Uh, the transaxle collection will also include the 928, 944 and 968. Mid-engine cars will be the 914 and the uh, water-cooled Cayman. And then one of every generation of Porsche 911. The car that I'm sitting on is a 1980 924 Carrera GT. Porsche produced 406 of these. Uh, the car visually is a lot wider looking than the stock car. The horsepower output is 210 horsepower, almost 40 horsepower more than the original version. For me, the 924 is an interesting car in the Porsche lineup. It replaced the 914 as an entry-level car in 76 and was in continuous production in various markets through 1983 and then reappeared as a 87, 88, 924 S model with the then 2.5 liter 944 motor. For me though, the great thing about the 924 is it's extremely well balanced. It's a 49 to 51% uh, weight ratio, which makes it a great momentum car, a really great handling car, and a great car to drive. And I always say to me, the true joy about any Porsche is the driving experience, and no two drives are ever the same. The story of my 924 Carrera GT is pretty interesting. I have people all the time send me emails with cars that I, they think I should own. And this story was great. I got a random email from a guy in Australia that said, hey, I have a car that I think you should own. Now I had a 924 Carrera GT on the list, but I wasn't actively pursuing one. So I said to the guy, well, what's the car? He goes, oh, it's a 924 Carrera GT. And the interesting story was the car had spent the past 25 years in Japan in Tokyo, so I ended up buying the car from him in Sydney, Australia, and shipping it to LA a little over three years ago. So uh, that's the strange thing about Porsche is it's a global, it's a global language. It's my drug of choice. It's my religion. I always say we all speak Porsche. It's a common bond thread that brings people together, separate of whether you speak English, German, Japanese, or Australian. Porsche made these cars in three colors: silver, black, and red. It appears that red is perhaps the most common color for a 924 Carrera GT. When I acquired my car, it was all silver, but naturally I couldn't leave it alone in stock fashion. I had to modify it cosmetically in my own way. So I added the Minerva blue and then the little slate gray pinstripe just to add a little bit more character and charm. And then I also uh, have it rolling on my own uh, 1552 Outlaw wheels, which are basically 16 by eight and nine and a half in the rear shot in Pirelli Trofeo R uh, sticky rubber. I had to add my own personality to mine and just make it a little bit more unique. And that's one of the great things about Porsche is, you know, they're easy to customize and tweak, whether it's cosmetically or performance wise. But ultimately for me, it's all about the drive and the experience. The car covers all the sensors and it's always a thrilling, exciting and intoxicating, challenging and rewarding drive. You know, and these are kind of the 80s style pinup poster cars, and I think the 80s have got a little bit of a comeback right now. So just an interesting time to be talking about what was once potentially the unloved Porsche, the 924. The pitch and the tone of the car is completely different to the 911. The whole driving experience is completely different to the 911. The 911 always feels really light on the front end, obviously because there's not much weight here. 924, complete opposite. The steering feels a lot heavier compared to the early 911. The power delivery is different. These cars are turbocharged, so they're not quite as 
throttle responsive as the majority of my normally aspirated air-cooled 911s. But once you're on the open road, the driving pleasure is, is similar but different. It's still intoxicating. The car just has a different balance. It's more stable. It doesn't move around as much. It doesn't feel as light. The power delivery is slightly different. The cars are pretty quick. They're pretty nimble. The boost comes on a little bit differently to a 930 turbo six cylinder boost. It's a thrilling, intoxicating, stimulating, rewarding, and sometimes challenging drive. The great thing about any Porsche is they cover all the sensors and the 924 turbos are no different. They deliver the experience in a slightly different way. It's a little bit more of a controlled way in the sense that there's more grip to the front, the front's more weighted, turning's a little better, the back end doesn't step out, the car is more balanced throughout the turns, but at the end of the day, it's still a Porsche and it's super exciting and rewarding driving experience behind the wheel of a 924 Turbo. My favorite go-to road in any car is Highway 2 or the road known as Los Angeles Crest Highway which for me is conveniently located 18 miles from where we're standing and I can be at the base of that road any time of the day in less than half an hour. But ultimately the greatest time to go up Angeles Crest Highway is early in the mornings during the week when no one's around. And that for me is a world-class road that climbs to an elevation of 8,000 feet. It's a challenging road, it's a fast road, you can go flat out in fourth fifth gear, a lot of undulation changes, a lot of sweepers, some technical stuff. And the higher up you get, the higher the altitude, the car often performs differently, the higher up you go. But the scenery is breathtaking, and like I always say, for me, it's always about the journey, not so much the destination. And for me, I'm just at one on that open road behind the wheel of my favorite car, pushing myself to whatever limit I set, but ultimately just getting the most out of the experience and what I like to call memorable moments. And there's nothing more memorable than being behind the wheel of one of my favorite Porsches, on one of my favorite roads, Angeles Crest Highway.